Hello, hello, my friends. Kim here, and welcome on back to my happy place. For those of you joining me for the first time today and checking out this channel for the first time, welcome, you guys. I am excited to have you with me. This is a channel where I feature my two major hobbies being home fragrance and diamond paintings. So some of you may be new to the channel and if you are, please subs um, subscribe guys. I would really appreciate it. I'm going to have a lot more candle content coming your way as well as of course my regular diamond painting videos. But to those of you who are fans of the one hobby and not the other, obviously you can just watch the videos that appeal to you. So guys, on this channel and when it comes to candles, I am really going to be trying to get, it, to get back to basics. Now what I mean by that is I want to tell you guys what I actually smell from a candle. Those of you who are very familiar with home fragrance and specifically candles will know that often a lot of these candles come with a plethora of scent notes, a whole lot of different fragrance oils have been used, but you know what? To the normal nose, we don't always pick up on all of that. So I will obviously always read the scent notes to you. But what I want to do on this channel primarily is to focus on what fragrance the candle actually gives off in terms of what am I smelling and then obviously how strong the candle is. I don't want to get too bogged down by the scent notes. Uh, there may be certain reviewers and candle reviewers out there um, who pick up a lot more of those scent notes perhaps than I do and maybe you are like me and you watch those videos and you think to myself my gosh how are those people getting all of those scent notes <laughs> and trust me guys there are some candle reviewers that I watch religiously and I absolutely love so this is not throwing shade on anyone it's just saying that I think for many of us our noses don't literally pick up on all those complexities. So it goes without saying that I would always read the scent notes to you but then I'm going to forget about the scent notes and I'm going to tell you what I actually smell. So if that appeals to you guys, if you think you will enjoy that type of video then please do subscribe and with that guys let's kick things off for today's video. Right so what you see on your screen at the moment are four of the reserve candles for fall 2024 that were released by Kringle. I don't know how long it was ago now, perhaps a month ago, plus minus. Now, there were actually six candles released as part of this set. I only decided to pick up four, reason being that the other two, well, the one was sort of an outdoor mossy um, uh, soil type of fragrance and I didn't think that would appeal to me so I didn't pick it up and the other fragrance I think it was called Japanese Maple I really wanted that one I thought I was going to love it but then some early reviewers and some ambassadors were reporting that had it had extremely low throw and that they could hardly smell it at all not even in the tiniest of rooms so for that reason I decided to pass on that one and I only picked up these four now in full disclosure, guys, obviously when I unboxed these, I did give them a sniff. I couldn't wait. <laughs> but I tried not to spend too long sniffing them and I tried not to think about them too much so that when I filmed this video, you would be getting some genuine, almost first uh, sniff impressions from me. But what I can tell you at the outset, these are some of the nicest reserve fragrances that I think Kringle has ever put out. I genuinely love all of these. So on that note, let's kick things off. I think I'm going to start by showing you Sunflower and Suede, which is this gorgeous candle over here. So first things first, just showing you the label. Obviously, this is a gorgeous label. I am a fan of sunflowers. They are some of my favorite flowers, and I often like to have them in the house. So that label really did appeal to me, together with those colors, the oranges and yellows. Absolutely stunning. Just to show you guys who aren't too familiar with Kringle or with the Reserve line, they always have white wax, and they always have two wicks. And also, the other thing, they always come in the black jars. Right, so on that note, guys, let's have a look at the scent notes and what we get here. So the, this candle has scent notes of floral, suede, bergamot, saffron, rose, nutmeg, and amber. 
So as always, a lot going on there. It will be interesting to see what I actually pick up on and what I actually smell. So let me give this one a snuff. Whoa, that is nice. But the first fragrance I get, definitely floral. And strangely enough, definitely rose. Even though this one has sunflowers all over the label. Yep, my nose is picking up rose primarily and at the forefront. Now, we did read that one of the scent notes is rose, so that makes sense. So there's definitely a rose note. And then you get just a general floral note in the background. I'm just trying to see what else my nose is actually picking up without looking too much at the scent notes. Yeah, maybe a little bit of that bergamot. Guys, this is definitely a floral fragrance. So I think you would have to be a floral lover to enjoy this one. But just know that the floral is not heavy. It's not heavy and dark and overly strong. This one is actually, I don't want to say light, but for a floral, it doesn't, it's not hitting me over the head necessarily. I'm also picking up, I think what I'm picking up or what my nose is picking up a little bit as well is that suede. I almost get... A hint just a hint of leather in the background yep I get floral I get rose well let me put it in this order first things first I get rose then I get a general floral then I actually pick up a slight hint of almost a leather type of scent and then perhaps the bergamot so that is what my nose smells so let me tell you what I do not get I don't get saffron, I don't get nutmeg, and amber, well, maybe. Amber is in a lot of fragrances to give it a more uh, body care type feel, so I probably get that a little bit. But this is a very pretty scent, you guys. I really like it, but I would say that you do need to enjoy your florals to enjoy that one. Right, next up, let's have a look at this gorgeous label. So this one is Apple Brandy. Loving the label. Now, I must tell you guys, I never used to be the biggest fan of apple in candles, but it has really grown on me in the last year. I have fallen in love with so many apple candles. Um, there was another one that Kringle released. I'm trying to think. It wasn't part of the reserve line. I think it was called Apple Bourbon and Oud. Oh, I absolutely fell in love with that candle. Now, I also like alcohol notes in candles. I know some people don't, but I really do. So when I saw this, obviously this gorgeous label, together with a scent called Apple Brandy, you know that I needed to pick this one up, guys. <laughs> so let's have a look at the scent notes. And I'm happy to say the scent notes here are a little bit more simple. We have apple, brandy, spice, sweet, and wood. So what do I get from this one? Well, let me tell you. Oh my gosh, guys, I am getting such a scent memory. Oh, this one is definitely taking me back to my travels to Turkey. So first and foremost, I definitely get the apple and I get the sweet. And then there might be a slight hint of brandy in the background. But I'm not picking it up specifically. It's not hitting me over the head. Oh, guys, you know what this reminds me of? If any of you have traveled to Turkey, do you know the sweet teas that they serve? Either you can just, you know, have them sitting in a cafe in the afternoon or they will often serve them after dinner well we fell in love with it was a green apple fragrance so it was a turkish tea they are very sweet they are almost served in little tot glasses so you don't get a mug you don't get a mug of this stuff it comes in a little glass about that size hot sweet and you just sip it and there are various different flavors from from red apple to green apple to cherry to all sorts of things and they are absolutely delicious I am getting a scent memory of that with this candle, the apple and the sweet. But to me, I know there are red apples on here, but I'm almost getting a green apple note. I'm getting a sweet green apple, almost like a tea, but not the traditional tea, not tea like you would sit at home and drink, you know, in the evenings. A Turkish tea specifically. So, Oh, I absolutely love this one, you guys. It is absolutely delicious. 
Okay, so do I get spice? Do I get wood? Mm, no, I don't think so. I'm not picking up on any spice. So if you are worried about the spice note, please don't be. Would, uh, um, guys, I, you would have to really, really push me to let me know or for me to consider that there's any wood in this candle. If there is, it's only very, very slight and I wouldn't even necessarily be able to tell you that it was there. To me, this candle is sweet apple. That's what it is with a hint of something more in the background, which could be brandy. It's just giving it a definite um, drinks sort of vibe, but I couldn't say to you, oh, this is brandy or this is bourbon or this is any of those. So if you are worried about the alcohol notes, please don't be. I would say that it is there. So if you are not comfortable with it being there at all, then don't try this one. But if you're okay with it, maybe just having a tiny hint of it in the background, then give this one a chance. Oh, I absolutely love that one. Like I say, scent memory of Turkey, 100%. <laughs> Right, now, the candle from the collection that sold out first. This was the first candle to sell out, like I say, from that, that collection. And I think you can see why. Pumpkin Spice Latte. This one was always going to be a huge hit. The label is beautiful. And obviously, with fall and people loving their fall scents, a Pumpkin Spice Latte would have just hit the, you know, hit it out of the park in terms of what people are looking for. So the scent notes on this one, you guys, nutmeg, cinnamon, coffee, clove, vanilla, and cream. Right, so what do I get? I get a beautiful blend. I think all of those scent notes are actually blended together so beautifully that there's not one that's specifically jumping out. I have to give this one a really deep sniff to see. Let me try again. Okay, there it comes. The coffee definitely coming through first. It's creamy, it's rich, it's delicious, but there's no caramel note. Maybe a slight sweetness um, from, I'm wondering what from, because there's no sweetness necessarily listed there. So let me tell you this. It's not a black coffee. It's a sweet, creamy coffee. I don't know that I specifically get any clove. I don't know that I specifically get nutmeg or cinnamon. Maybe the one I'm getting the most might be the nutmeg. But again, it's not prominent. This is not a spice-heavy candle. The spices are just beautifully blended in with this milky, creamy, vanilla type of coffee. Oh, and it's definitely fall. Definitely fall type scent, definitely for cooler, colder weather. Oh, guys, it is absolutely stunning. Now, although the name has pumpkin in the title or the name of this candle, Pumpkin Spice Latte, there's actually no pumpkin listed in the scent notes, and I don't specifically get a pumpkin either. Sweet, like I've said, sweet, vanilla, creamy coffee with a hint of the different spices in the background with none of the spices actually standing out. They are all blended in beautifully to be a bakery type spice that is in the background of this candle. Absolutely stunning, you guys. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, this collection I am so happy with. Right, let's move on to the last one. Smoke and Oak. I know this one has also been a great hit. Many people have really fallen in love with this one. I can be a little bit hit and miss with these type of fragrances. Sometimes I love them, sometimes I don't. Those of you who are familiar with Kringle will know in their Halloween launch, they launched a candle called, was it Skulls? Skulls and Sonnet. I had heard people just absolutely falling in love with that one. I bought it, obviously, and I like it. I mean, I like it, but I'm not head over heels in love with it. So let's see what I think of this one. But before I give it a snuff, we are going to check out the scent notes. The scent notes are, once again, fairly simple. Well, not that simple, actually. We've got smoke, wood, bourbon, leather, amber, and fruit. Strange blend, because you wouldn't maybe necessarily think of fruit in this fragrance, but maybe the fruit would actually go very well with the um, bourbon. So let's see what I think of this one, you guys. Oh, 
<laughs> it's gorgeous. It's definitely gorgeous. It's probably out of all of these candles, the one that leans slightly masculine. I don't think any of these other candles lean um, masculine at all. Obviously, I mean, they probably wouldn't. And the Sunflower and Suede actually leans body care-esque and definitely more feminine. I would say this one would be the man of the collection. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm not saying you, you obviously have to um, be male to enjoy this candle. So many people have fallen in love with it. And, obviously, scent appeals to everybody differently. So... I think this is a beautiful candle, even though, like I've said, it does lean slightly masculine. I'm not picking up on the bourbon. I'm picking up a type of vibe like an old study where you've got heavy wooden paneled cabinets on the walls and a big desk. And maybe somebody had smoked a very classy cigar in there, but not smoke. I'm not getting cigarette or cigar smoke. I'm just trying to create the, the vibe in my head of what this candle is creating when I smell it. So don't be worried, guys. I'm not talking about, oh, if you burn this, you're going to smell cigar smoke. No, I'm not saying that. It's almost like if you guys have ever smelled one of those extra large cigars, the big ones, before it's been lit where you actually just smell the cigar itself, the leaves around the cigar. That's almost what I can picture here. I do also get a tiny bit of sweetness. Maybe that's coming from the fruit. Smoke. You see, it says smoke and wood. So again, I think this is just a candle that has been so beautifully blended that you're not specifically smelling smoke. You're not specifically smelling wood. But the idea that jumps into your mind when you smell this candle is of those type of scent notes. Like I say, it's an old-fashioned study with a leather armchair, perhaps, or with a leather chair behind the desk. Perhaps there's a, um, yeah, like I've said, there's wooden cabinets, deep, dark, heavy wooden cabinets in this room. Yeah, more than that, guys, I can't really say. I think this is a very well-blended candle. I'm not specifically getting the bourbon, so again, please don't be worried about that. I'm not specifically getting smoke as in cigarette or cigar smoke. No, nothing like that. It's more just that these scent notes are so well-blended that you are getting a vibe. You are getting an ambiance created without necessarily smelling all of those scent notes. So this one, I think, would appeal to you, to those of you who like your your sense to be a little bit, what's the word, maybe a little bit heavier, a little bit deeper, a little bit more manly, but it's not a cologne. This is not a cologne scent at all. It's a, it's a study. It's a room in the house being an old-fashioned study type of scent. <laughs> I don't really know how else to describe it, guys, but I hope I've done a good job with that. So if any of you have not bought any of these candles, head over to the Kringle website. I will put the link to the website down below in the description box and check these out. Like I say, the only one that I think is sold out at the moment is Pumpkin Spice Latte. Hopefully they will bring that one back, if not this year, then next year in their, um, you know, in their fall collection or when they restock some of their fall reserve fragrances. But the other ones that I've shown you here, they are definitely available. So head over to the website and check it out. Like I say, I hope I've done an okay job of describing these to you. Obviously trying to link to the scent notes, but not getting bogged down by the scent notes. Rather trying to tell you guys what I actually smell um, of those scent notes because sometimes like I mentioned in the beginning it's a fragrance oil that is used to blend in and to add something a little bit extra to the scent but it's not necessarily something that your nose is going to smell okay my friends on that note let me say goodbye and let me leave it here and let me wish you all excellent burning and enjoy your candles guys bye